Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. We can install and enable plugins on our vSphere client, and those plugins will actually enhance or add functionality to our vSphere client. Let's take a look at some of the default plugins. I'm just going to go up here to plugins, click on manage plugins, and this brings us to our plugin manager. You can see the plugins that are installed by default, the vCenter storage monitoring, vCenter hardware status, and vCenter service status. You can also see here that they are all enabled. Now down here if we had available plugins that were actually loaded onto this particular client but not installed in our particular instance of the client, we'd be able to install them from here. And we'll actually see an example of this when we use the VMware Data Recovery Manager appliance. And there are a lot of other plugins for our vSphere client and there will be more coming out. If we'd like to enable or disable a particular plugin, we just right click on it and I'll click disable to disable the vCenter server status. If I want to enable it, I'll just right click on it and click on enable. Once I'm finished, I'll go ahead and click close and that plugin is either enabled or disabled. So plugins are pretty easy to use and enable and disable and in the coming movies we'll be using them.